In this video, we're going to be taking a look at composite functions. Now, a composite function is simply when one function is substituted into another function. So to demonstrate what we mean by this, let's take a look at this first question. We're asked to find the f of g of x. So a nicer way to write this notation, or a way to write this notation perhaps that makes uh, it's a little clearer what we have to do, is we can think of this as being the f of g of x. So what we mean here is that we are going to substitute the g of x, so 6x minus 5, into the f of x, 2x plus 9. So we're simply going to take 6x minus 5 and substitute that for x. So let's take a look at how this is going to work out. So we're taking 6x minus 5, and we're saying that this is 2 times by 6x minus 5. So 2 times 6x minus 5 plus 9. So we've just substituted the 6x minus 5 for the x. All that's left for us to do once we've substituted it in is to just tidy it up by expanding and simplifying. So expanding the brackets will leave us with 12x minus 10. And then we've just got that plus 9 on the end. And then just tidying up the minus, nine, uh, minus 10 plus 1, sorry, minus 10 plus 9, that's going to leave us with 12x minus 1. Okay, on to question 2. This time it's the other way around. We're going to be substituting the f of x into the g of x. So we're going to be substituting in, this time, 2x plus 9 into 6x minus 5. So we're going to get 6 multiplied by 2x plus 9. So just substituting in 2x plus 9 for the x and then minus 5 afterwards. So again, expanding and simplifying, this is going to leave us with 12x plus 54 minus 5, and then tidying that up further, that's just going to leave us with 12x uh, plus 49. Okay, question 3. We're asked to find the h of f of x. So we're substituting in the f of x into the h of x. So this is a bit trickier because this time we're substituting in and we're substituting 2x plus 9 into x squared minus 1. So we're going to be squaring 2x plus 9. So 2x plus 9 squared and then minus 1. Now this is where we need to be a little bit careful. So 2x squared, uh, sorry, 2x plus 9 all squared, this is exactly the same as when we see double brackets. This is the same as 2x plus 9, 2x plus 9, and then minus 1. So really what we're going to end up with here is if we expand this, we're going to get uh, 4x squared, so 4x squared, uh, plus 18x, plus another 18x, so plus 36x, and then plus 9 times 9, which is 81. So plus 81, and then subtract the 1, and so our final answer here is going to be 4x squared, plus 36x, plus 80. On to question 4. So here we're asked to find the f of f of x. So in order to work this out, we're simply going to be substituting f of x into f of x. So this means we're going to get 2 multiplied by 2x plus 9. Plus 9. So we've just taken that 2x plus 9 and substituted it 
for x in that function. Then, working this out, expanding it and simplifying it, I'm going to get four, uh, 2 times 2x for 4x, 2 times 9 for 18, and then add on that extra 9. That's going to leave me with 4x plus uh, 18 plus 9, so plus 27. Okay, on to question five. Now for question five, there's two different ways that we could work this out. We could either take that number five and substitute it into the g of f of x that we worked out earlier. So substitute it into 12x plus 49. So 12 times five for 60, add on 49, that would give me an answer of 109. So that's one way that we can work it out. We could alternatively simply substitute 5 into the f of x first and then substitute the answer to that into the g of x. It's good to be able to do this in using both methods. So we're going to use uh, that second method I described to answer this. So we're, first of all, we're going to work out what f5 is. So f5 is simply going to be uh, 2 times 5, add 9. So 2 times 5, add 9, which is going to give me 19. Then all that I'm going to do next is take that answer and substitute it into the g of x. So I'm going to now work out what g19 is equal to. So g19, that's simply going to be 6 multiplied by 19 and then take away 5. So 6 multiplied by 19 is going to give me uh, 114. Then take away 5 is going to give me an answer of 109. So you can see there that that method gives me exactly the same answer as if I had substituted 5 into the g of f of x, which was 12x plus 49. Okay, final question, h, g of 3. We're going to answer this in exactly the same way, um, partly because we haven't actually worked out what the h, g, um, h of g of x is. So we're just going to work it out using this method again. So first of all, working out what the g of 3 is equal to. So that's going to leave me with uh, 6 multiplied by 3 minus 5. So 6 times 3 minus 5, which is going to give me uh, 18 minus 5 for 13. Then substituting this in, or substituting the answer into h of x. So h 13 is going to give me so 13 squared minus 1. So 13 squared minus 1. 13 squared is 169. Take away 1 for a final answer of 168.